this video, I'm going to go through the changes that comes to Xcode 15 for source control. Source control can be your Git repository that you want to use to share your code with your teammates or want to put it on GitHub for open source. In Xcode 14, the menu item used to call source control, but now they have renamed it to call integrate. This is where all of your source control related actions are. We have been using this project for our videos but this is not saved anywhere but i want to now initiate a new git repository so that i can save it on my github repository so let's do a new git repository for my project and it's going to create a git repository for this project so that's done let's see what's change in terms of my file structure so if i go to my git file file I can see that there is now a dot git folder in my project folder that means my git directory has been initialized here let me hide that go back now that I have my project saved in the git repository I can make a change here and update the code when I update the code I can go to the integrate option and commit and this is the whole new UI that comes with the Xcode 15. One way is go through this window here and reach there. Also we can see that it's a second option in the navigator right here. So we know that with the navigator I can press command 2 to reach to the window and then if I click the file it will show me all the changes and I can do a lot of things here which I was not able to do previously one of the things is which I like the most is you can do these changes in line while you are reviewing your commit what do I mean by that I don't want to update the name to test but I want to update this to sample code and it's easy as that and now my change has been updated other things you can do in this window is if you want to have a look at the whole code not just the change you can drag from the slider here you can grab this one here and just move it or you can click this one to show the whole file or just see the modified content go back and you will see the modified content you can stage or unstage your changes all the changes you are staging will go into your commit and the changes which you are not staging will not go into the commit let's say i change the padding to 20. now i have two changes which are in my commit but let's have a look these two changes are unstaged changes these are they are not staged yet so how do i know that one thing i know i can come here and see that they are unstaged other option is if you look at the bar on the left side it's not filled that means this is not changed and as soon as my stage my change this is going to fill so that means my change is staged now so i can go to unstage now it will show me only one change and if i go to stage it will show me two changes which are now staged i can update my commit message here sample code text updated and i can commit it so my change is now committed if i go back to my view it's only showing me one change that's uncommitted if i move to the repositories in the view it will show me the repository all the branches that i have any tags stash changes my remotes i don't have any remote branch yet because we just initialized the git repository if i go to my branch i get a nice history of all the commits so this is the initial commit that happened when we initialized the repository this is the second commit that happened when we created the commit i can go and push the code there is no remote right now right so how do we add a remote to add a remote i'll go to the remote option in the repository right click add an existing remote i have already created a repository for this one i'm just going to copy the link to that and paste it here and add my remote so now my remote is added so you can see that i can see my remote here i'll go back to the branch click push 
and now I can see that my remote is available here and that was easy if you are going to use your remote repository sometimes you might have to add your authentication token to the Xcode if you have not already logged in with your github account in your Xcode I really love this change now I can do all my code related changes within Xcode I don't have to use a separate tool to manage my source control thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video